Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the NAM Show 2016, IK Multimedia. This is our 20th year anniversary, so we're glad you're here to, to celebrate with us. We've got some great products we're going to talk about here today, and we've got some great entertainment to let you hear that product. What you're looking at on the screen, though, is our Sample Tank 3 product. That is the flagship of our workstation sounds, and we've been doing sound workstations for almost 10 years now with the original Sample Tank 1. That product came out and set the standard for how sound workstations were put together. We've been building libraries for that sound workstation for many years, from Sonic Synth to Miroslav. Miroslav, they told us it's our first Miroslav product, but we're actually going to take a look at how Miroslav 2 comes into play inside a sample tank. And we've got one of the greatest keyboard composers that we've ever seen, <laughs> and I know you guys know, but he's also the iconic keyboardist for Dream Theater, not to mention the president of Wisdom Music. We've got Jordan Rudis here to come play for us today. Yeah. Let me give, you, give him a round of applause. <clears throat> Thank you very much. So I'm happy to be here. I got turned on to this. I've known about Sample Tank for a really long time. It's something that sits on my computer that is extremely useful. You know, it's one of those kind of uh, virtual instruments that, you know, you're in the studio, you need a sound, and you're like, where should I go? Ah, oh, of course, I'll go to Sample Tank. They'll have the sound in there. It's an immense library, and it's uh, really fun to have the Miroslav Vitus library in here, the new one, because his sounds are always very unique. There's a lot of orchestral sounds out there, and a lot of them are very good, but a lot of times you're looking for things that have character, that things that have flavor. And Miroslav and the sounds and the way they're processed uh, within you know, Sample Tank are always very special. But I want to get started, started off and play some of the new pianos for you. Um, and that's a good way for me to get my fingers warmed up because I'm talking so much and not playing that much. So we can do that with this Philharmonic Grand, which is, a, which is a nice beginning for it. And one of the things I noticed about the pianos right off when I got them, and it was really cool because some of the low end is very like, you know, full and rich. And I was like, wow, that's the way to do it. That's really cool. A lot of the samples you play don't have that. So they're not shy. My friend Eric, who did a lot of the programming for this, he, he was like, he just made it sound rich and full. Anyway, I'll play a little bit. Thank you so much. So, of course, with Sample Tank and with Sample Tank in this wonderful multi live mode, there's a lot of possibilities. And I'm going to kind of walk you through that journey. The journey that I had actually the last week or so when I was putting these sounds together. You know, I love to do layering. It's uh, obviously something very uh, attractive to a musician who's playing live a lot. I do a lot of things with like piano and strings. And this next patch actually features the piano just mixed with strings. It's a very simple patch. It's not a whole lot of strings going on, but just enough that you can kind of like feel it. And, uh, and it's a kind of a stepping stone in my demo to show you uh, what else is possible. So here's pia the piano and strings together.
So the next stage of this is to put more strings together and to split the keyboard so the piano is consistent, but we have violins and we have violas and cellos and basses, and they're all throughout the keyboard underneath the piano. It's a little bit of a fuller kind of patch, but again, showing you like the next stage of what's even possible. Um, so let's see. <laughs> One of the great things for me about doing these demos is, you know, I do a lot of improvisation. That last little bit wasn't improvised. That was a little piece of a Beethoven thing that he wrote when he was very young, but all the stuff before it was. So it's always interesting to see how under a little bit of pressure, you guys aren't putting that much pressure on me, not compared to the, what was it, 800,000 people I just played for in Poland a few months ago. That was, that was more pressure. But anyway, but to stand in front of a crowd and to be able to try to like be musical and to generate some ideas, it's an interesting challenge. And I know a lot of you are musicians. And you know, the idea is that you have to kind of like, well, it's not supposed to be a music lesson, but let it be a little, little bit of one. The idea is as a musician, you're supposed to be able to come into yourself and relax enough that you can kind of bring in whatever inspiration is out there, especially if you're trying to make something up on the spot. That's, that's, the, that's the challenge, and I like practicing that. So thank you for the opportunity, my friends at IK, to be able to play these wonderful sounds and kind of put myself in that role. This next sound, I'm going to kind of go back in time a little bit and make believe that I'm hanging out with Mozart or Bach and, and play a harpsichord sound. This is a really nice uh, uh, harpsichord sound. And then I'm going to show you a little bit of a layer as we move through these, uh, these multis that I made. Mm. That's your C minor improvisation. <laughs> all right, so uh, now I get to pick the key, all right? Let's see, I'll do one in A. And this one actually layers strings with it. This is kind of, I, li I like this combination. It's very like Baroque. So let me close my eyes and get in the Baroque mode here. And again, the sounds, you know, the sounds that are in this library, the Miroslav sounds are very like, they have a lot of character. So instead of just playing things that are generic, they have a, they have a lot of feel to them. So here we go.
I don't know why I got all of a sudden very aggressive with the harpsichord. Maybe because I saw my friends walk in. <laughs> all right, so this is uh, going to mellow out a little bit because this is a string quartet sound. And it really does take the keyboard and divide it into sections. It's a live sound, but I get the opportunity to kind of pretend that I'm a string quartet. So at the top of the range, you have the violins. In the middle, you have more like the violas and the cellos and the basses. So here we go. Let's see what I can come up with. Thank you. The real trick is keeping the multiple voices going, because you know, you're trying to play a soprano line and the intricate line, and you're trying to improvise at the same time, and that's the game. This sound is a bigger string ensemble. With this sound, um, we're basically the strings are layered. We record it, you know, the guys recorded larger sections as opposed to the last one, which was solo instruments. So with this, it sounds more like this. Yeah, I love that sound. It's very rich, very nice, str very inspiring string sound. Um, of course, there's woodwinds, and the woodwinds in this patch are all kind of like divided into sections. <laughs> Have your nice bassoons. I decided to do with this patch is I layered this cool mallet sound along with the winds because sometimes it's fun to be able to do a little bit of a finger dance to move around. So you have this like marimba that has this very soft kind of touch to it, but you also have the winds in the background. It makes for a really kind of interesting patch.
you. So, and now we'll go into the brass, and then after this we're going to put them all together. And the last patch I made, which I can't wait to get to because it's huge, uh, puts the whole full orchestra together with some other elements as well. But I find the brass to be very appealing in, in Sample Tank in the Miroslav Library. It sounds very realistic. Matter of fact, I wish I had this when I was recording my last album, The Astonishing, coming out on January 29th, because it would have been cool for some of the sections, because the sound is perfect. Um, so here's what the brass sounds like. Put together. <laughs> Thank you. So now let's put it together and start creating something really large by putting all these instruments together. And I found that by working with the multi-mode of Sample Tank, you could really create these amazing stacks. So with this, I've got like <laughs> the strings and the brass. It starts getting, see, if I make the serious face, you guys will understand why at this point. So. <laughs> Thank you. So that one is obviously huge, but the next one was the one when I played that one, I thought, okay, this is a cool sound, but how do we take it from that kind of size and make it even more epic? And you know, um, my group Dream Theater, we like to play around with like big, big sounds, epic sounds, and I thought, what would be a sound I would use like to you know, go out on stage and really make it happen. And I thought this one was really cool. This one actually borrows the pipe organ sound from the, sa the, the um, kind of stock sample tank library and includes all the um, Miroslav sounds along with it. And I also have a choir, the people singing, there's brass, there's winds, there's everything all together. And it sounds a little bit like this. <laughs> I just want to say thank you to all of you for coming out, coming here to check this out. Thank you for being in the IK room. There's amazing stuff here. You know, IK are leaders not only in this area of like virtual instruments, but also leaders in the whole mobile platform doing amazing things with all kinds of cool keyboards. And I, I mentioned it yesterday because it really does blow my mind. The speaker, the iLoud speaker that I'm using as a monitor, this very little thing right here, is not quite giving me the power maybe you guys have, but 
I'm amazed, because when I play that big chord, that little speaker sounds loud, and it is not blowing up. And not only is it loud and not blowing up, it also sounds amazing. So good work, guys. I'll see all of you on the road. Take care. Thank you.